Hello, air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You guys might hear some noise today because I am in the um, I'm in the front room, so it's like right by the street. So um, you might hear some noise, cars going by, things like that. All right. So we're doing your daily energy read for July 20th. Um, I feel like someone. I'm really out of breath. Are you out of breath, water? Are you out of, I might be dealing with a water sign. You might be talking to a water sign. Um, you, you're so excited that you, you're out of breath or you're lost for words. Um, or you could be exhausted, like you're exhausted about a water sign. This could be physically um, you're exhausted. I don't know what you were, what you were this water sign is doing. Um, but it could be physically exhaustion or it could be emotionally exhaustion okay but I'm just getting that because I'm like out of my breath I'm I'm just sitting here talking to you guys and I don't know why I feel so tired like I'm struggling to breathe here okay um, someone could be asthmatic as well someone here someone is someone watching this is asthmatic okay make sure you have your inhaler all right air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius let's get it popping all right someone needs to speak up here someone needs to speak their truth all right use your voice all right I'm hearing too somebody needs to um, Use their voice and speak up, speak their truth, stand up for themselves in a situation. Okay, this could be with, about this water sign. We're gonna see what we're gonna see what come up though. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for today. If this this water sign may come out, or it might be some something else that may come out. We're gonna see. All right, let's see what's popping. All right, we um we also still I'm still doing the karma cards. If we um you guys pull the wheel of fortune, we're still gonna do those. All right. You know what? I forgot to shuffle the, the <sighs> hidden influences that, like I said, being absent-minded. Someone is forgetting something. Like I said, the person that's watching this, that's asthmatic, make sure you have your inhaler. Like check right, like check your shit right now. And make sure you have it. All right, because I'm like having shortness of breath. And I feel like you're gonna need it, or someone, someone might need to use yours. All right, I'm just saying. Let me shuffle this deck real quick, you guys. the hidden influences for air sign for July 20th right? long ass intro fast forward That's how you do that all right let's see what's popping overall energy is going to be the seven of wands okay finally like I said um, I feel like you are exhausted uh, finding your way out of a difficult situation here with the seven of wands as you can see this child is wounded all right she has cups she has she has cut she has scraped she has bruises but she's she she's finally finding her way out of the maze here okay finding her way out of the dark all right she looks very frightened very startled all right okay so you could be startled you could be somebody could somebody here could startle you or you could be frightened all right you could be you could have been involved in a situation where you were frightened like living in fear okay and you're finally finding your way out of a situation with the seven of wands staying in the fight even though you're battered okay even though you're bruised you're not broken okay all right so good shit okay i feel like too um somebody i feel like okay somebody's child here is looking for them I'm just getting like somebody's child is looking for them right now all right I also too I feel I feel um air sign I feel like you are coming out of a sit you are coming out of a situ you are freeing yourself from a situation where you felt lost or, or whatever um, but I feel also too that you're you feel very defensive or you feel very defenseless because she has like her hands up like this could be somebody too could be getting arrested today all right Somebody could, could be getting arrested, all right, caught doing something, caught with, caught red-handed, all right, you could be getting caught red-handed or catching somebody red-handed here, this could be one of your, this could be your child, you're catching your child red-handed, all right, let's keep going, let's see, you have the energy of the king of swords, okay, so logical thinking, okay, but I feel like this is someone here being very unreasonable, not, not able to use their logical mind, not able to think, period, like being unreasonable, no common sense, okay, um, you could be dealing with someone like this, but I'm getting this. This could be an air sign. Air, uh, um, this could be, of course, air sign. I'm tripping. I'm thinking about water sign. See, you could be dealing with a water sign, um, Aries, Gemini. Um, Aries, Gemini. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. What the hell? You could be dealing with a uh, water sign, Gemin uh, Gemini, or an Aries. I just, those signs just keep wanting to present themselves. Okay, I said it. Are you happy now? All right, so the King of Swords. I feel like 
logical thinking is not there, not today. All right, you could be dealing with someone like this, or you could be feeling like just, un you feel very unreasonable. You can't think, you can't gather your thoughts, okay? You can't, you're trying to calm yourself, it's not working, okay? You just can't see your way through the fog right now as far as communication goes, you're, or you're not communicating, or somebody is communicating with you very harshly, being very cold, very detached, all right? Let's see what else you have going on here. Um, the lovers, ooh, Jesus Christ, all right? So you can see how graphic that is, <laughs> okay? Um... Hmm, interesting. Like I said, Gemini, you could be dealing with the Gemini, all right? Or this could have happened in Gemini season, all right? I feel like you could have gotten out of a situation in Gemini season. What is that, June? You could have, um, it could have been, you could have, somebody could have cut you off. It could have been an air sign that you cut off or, or you cut an air sign off, all right? In Gem, uh, Gemini season, I'm, I'm getting June. Or was it Gemini? Let's see. Let's see. What the hell, air sign? You have the Nine of Swords. A uh, lots of lots of communication that's not happening here. Okay, Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so not speaking. Okay, and if some, but if somebody here is speaking, it's very harsh. Okay, very harsh communication. All right, harsh words. All right, the de delivery is just um, not a loving. It's not loving here. Okay, this could be with a Gemini. All right. Let's keep going here, uh, air sign. Why is the king of Why is the king of swords here? You have the knight of wands. All right, so I feel like someone someone is keeping something to themselves. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. A Sagittarius, you could have cut a Sagittarius off, or vice versa, or the Sagittarius keeping something to themselves. But with the the king of swords here in the um, in the reverse and the knight of wands, I feel like yeah, someone someone is keeping like travel plans to themselves. Okay. Or someone here is communicating about travel, all right, um, with the Knight of Wands here. Or someone could be communicating about a Sagittarius. Let's see, why the, why is the Lover's card here? I'm, the Four of Swords. I mean, this reading, I'm, I'm like, I'm confused. Maybe when I get the Hidden Influence, it'll, it'll be more clarity here. Okay, so the Four of Swords, okay, this is meditation, thinking, resting your thoughts. Okay, taking a break, actually taking a nap. Okay, so um, I'm hearing I'm hearing a lot of like a very um, what's the word I'm looking for? I was gonna say arousal. No, I'm hearing very I'm hearing like tantric sex or I'm what's the word I'm looking for? Air sign. Come on, you guys are the sign of diction here, articulation. I, I'm hearing um, very sensual. Okay, because we have the lovers card here and then we have the resting card. Okay, so. Um, what I'm getting for some of you is um, today you guys somebody some of you guys are making really good love making sweet love love and resting afterwards okay simple as that all right um, this could be after um, okay after you guys find your way out of a situation okay you guys could be lost okay you guys could find your way out of this could be celebrating here too as well um, just for some of you. Um, with the uh, four of swords here on top of the lovers, but I feel like someone is keeping something to themselves here with all these swords in reverse. I feel like there's um, there's a lot of communication not being had. All right, let's see the nine of swords. I'm sorry, air sign. This is is the eight of wands. Okay, yeah. Okay, so there's going to be a message. That's why I'm saying. Okay, so there's there could be there's some confusion here. Okay, there's some confusion in a situation in a relationship, and I feel like there's going to be a message. Okay, and I feel like right when you're about to cut somebody off, air sign, someone's going to message you here. Okay, um, something is happening out of the blue. We have the Knight of Swords, and clarifying that is the Eight of Wands energy. Okay. So something something is materializing very quickly. It could be uh, materializing faster than you uh, faster than you may have planned or faster than you wanted to, faster than you thought. Okay. This could have to do with a lover, a Gemini. I'm getting a lot of air too, but this could be communication. I feel like somebody is sending you a message, all right? Right when you're about to cut them off after all this, um, you know, after the, this period of rest here, okay? This period of not speaking. Somebody here is a very free spirit. I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody here was cut off so that somebody else could go and do their own thing, be a free spirit, live their life, okay? Find out who they were, have fun. Um, but I feel like, there's a message coming. You're going to be get, you're getting messages. You're getting a message today. It could be multiple messages, okay? 
But the Eight of Wands is like cutting anything that's standing. Like she's she's about she's about to chop the shit out of that because it's standing. It's in her way. I mean, obviously, the Eight of Wands. She can't get she can't get past. So she's gonna cut the wands down. All right, or, or she's cutting the wands down because it's like I, I feel like um they're on her land. She doesn't want them there. Plain and simple. But I feel like right right when she's about to get rid of them, right when someone's about to cut you off or vice versa, okay. I feel like you're gonna you're getting a message. Let's see what let's see what the hidden influences are today, air sign. All right, the eight. Okay, so we have the eight of wands in the reverse though this time. Okay, so we have the eight of wands again. All right, so this could be a message that somebody wants to send to you. Like I feel like you want to send a message to somebody, but I feel like in the nick of time you're not gonna send it. Like the message is gonna be typed out. It's gonna be written out. This could be a letter as well. It could be an actual letter. You could be somebody could um. You could be writing a letter to somebody, but you don't send it, okay? Or somebody does not receive your letter, all right? Or this could be a text message here, some type of message. Um, but I, as with the Eight of Wands being the, uh, because I feel like, okay, this, this is the hidden influence. I'm sorry, air sign, stay with me, come back. Let me explain this over again, okay? So this is the hidden influence. This is the hidden energy behind why why this energy is occurring today, why you're doing what you're doing, or why you're um, dealing with this energy. It's the Eight of Wands. So the reason why you're getting out of the situation or the reason why you're getting a message because it's been stagnant, okay? Things have not been materializing. Nothing has been going on. You've been in a rut, okay? And I feel like this is the reason behind this message coming in of this communication, okay? And the Seven of Wands being your overall energy, I feel like um, this message can make you. This message can make you feel very defensive, or very defensive, defensive. Okay, or it can be very. This message can be very disarming. Okay, very out of the blue. Okay, you weren't. You're not. You're not going to be expecting this message that comes in. Okay, this could be from another air sign. I'm getting fire energy too. Could be water too, because you know water wanted to keep. You know. I want to keep saying water earlier, okay? But I'm, I'm getting, because we have the Four of Swords here with the, the Lover's card. This is, could be somebody with, like, um, Gemini in their fourth house, okay? Mercu this person is very mercurial, okay? Like, like you, okay? Gemini. Someone who's very talkative, or com communicative. All right, let's see dreams. Okay, so your over your oracle guidance for today, air sign is dreams incubation. Okay, so I feel like there is someone trying to communicate with you, a loved one, someone who has transitioned, passed on. Someone is trying to communicate with you in your dreams. Okay, so pay attention. I feel like too this day, this is a day that calls for lots of rest. And um, okay. Um, incubation it's time for you you need to rest okay so today if you get tired and you just you feel sleepy go to sleep take a nap because and while you are sleeping you're gonna get a message something's gonna come to you in a dream okay a message okay or you might get a message that you don't understand and then the answer that you the answers that you seek is gonna come to you in a dream okay so make sure today if you're feeling sleepy if you're feeling drained go to sleep okay because someone's trying to tell you something someone's trying to communicate with you air sign this could be a deceased loved one Okay, this could be even someone that you are connected to spiritually, a romantic partner. Someone is trying to message you and someone is trying to tell you something. All right. I feel like, too, something that you have been dreaming about is coming to fruition here. This could be some type of message that's coming in that you've been uh, dreaming about or that you've been seeing in a dream. Something something that you have been seeing in a dream or something that you have been dreaming about, you're going to see it materialize, okay? This might freak you out. It might disarm you because it's like you see it you see it in your, your, your physical realm now instead of in your head, okay? But I feel like something that you have been dreaming about, something that has been reoccurring in your dreams, you're going to see it. Okay, it's going to come in a message or is it going to come in the form of a person, though? I feel like it could be both. All right, but I feel like this is a good thing, though. I'm getting good vibes from this. All right, so relax on wine, air sign. All right, I look forward to seeing what the messages are about. All right, so I hope this helps you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.